Okay, hello friends. This is Ethan Leeds, Holistic Health Coach, and I'm looking at the subject today of is there really evidence that TRS causes people to go blind? That's a serious uh, question. Um, and uh, before I get into that, I'm going to be asking a question of those of you that are not taking TRS, especially that you're not a distributor, you're not selling TRS. I'm, I'm going to be asking those people a question before we get on to the, uh, the point that I just made at the beginning about it making people blind. So here's the thing. Um, this is a bottle of TRS and the cost of this bottle, if you just buy one bottle, is about $68 um, plus shipping. Okay, this, and, it, and, it's a, and it's a synthetic fake zeolite. Okay, this is a natural clean zeolite. Um, and this costs about $64. You probably noticed there's a big difference in size. And probably without me saying anything more, you can work out that, that this one costs more than this one. Okay. Um, certainly um, $68 compared to $64 already with a $4 difference. But this one has twice as much. Um, and uh, so... I'm going to explain a little bit more about that, but so let me just put some into you. So if you were to buy, um, let's say vitamin C, and it was 500 milligrams, 30 tabs vitamin C, and it was let's say 60 dollars, and then you saw another bottle, 500 milligrams vitamin C, but it had 60 tabs, and we'll say that was 60 dollars as well. Okay, which one is cheaper? The one with 60 tabs of 500 milligrams at $60, or the one with 30 tabs of 500 milligrams at $60. Which one is cheaper? Hopefully you can answer that question very easily that the one with 60 tabs um, is cheaper pro rata, okay? Per tab, it's cheaper. So you're gonna get more for your money, even though they cost the same in that particular case, uh, you're gonna get more for your money from the 60 tab one. Now what if I told you that the company who sold the 30 tabs one was saying that that was a month supply and the company that um, had the 60 tab one was also saying it's a month supply because they were recommending a thousand milligrams a day instead of 500 milligrams a day. Does that fact change the fact that the 60 tab one is cheaper? Pro rata? Of course it doesn't. Okay. Okay, that's a bit of a background to where I'm going to go now. So I want to show you, uh, so I made a statement that, um, that the natural zeolite uh, was cheaper and um, all of the TRS distributors disagree. And I've got one of the top people. In fact, I believe, here we go, let me take a look at this. I believe that this lady here, Chin Ting, I think she sells more TRS than any other individual person in the company, as far as I know. She's certainly up there as one of, but I believe she is actually the biggest seller of TRS, if my information is correct. So she was arguing that, um, that TRS was the same price. So somebody asked her the question, are you saying that TRS is stronger than PBX so that the small amount is equivalent to a large amount rather than what he says that they're recommending a higher dose? Um, so her, her response, she's very careful not to say TRS is stronger. She doesn't say that, but listen to what she says. She says, Diana, I am saying that PBX's daily usage rate is 12 sprays and two ounce it lasts one month, which is the same as TRS's five sprays and one ounce. This man is claiming that PBX is cheaper and better. Okay, so she's trying to say that they're equivalent because they're both rec uh, recommended dose would be a month supply. And she goes on to say, let me see if it's this one. Okay, so the person, um, Diana says, why won't anyone video debate him if he's wrong on this and willing to passively debate? You could prove him wrong perhaps. Because I made a challenge to all TRS distributors to have a video debate. None of them have done it. Um, none of them will do it. Um, because basically they haven't got an argument if, they, if we can have a back and forth. This stuff, this kind of conversations I have behind closed doors um, where I'm not allowed to or able to respond. Anyway, so Chin Ting says this. Diana, because it's a marketing gimmick for him, it's so easy to dispute his lies. Really? Debate me then, Chin Ting. When a man insists that another product is more cost efficient because the volume is larger, but usage rate is more than double, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to realize he's banking on a fact that many people have poor math skills. No chinting. 
let me explain at a level I'm hoping that you're going to be able to understand, Jinting. Okay, so um, you haven't directly said that TRS is stronger, and it isn't stronger. In fact, PBX, the one that I recommend, is has a, the maximum amount of zeolite that the water can possibly hold. It cannot be made any stronger. Scientifically, it just can't be done. So, so you can't, so you can't get any stronger. So, I don't know whether TRS is also the maximum capacity. I'm going to assume it is. Uh, I'm giving it benefit of doubt there. Um, but so this is at maximum capacity, then this one can't be any more. It isn't stronger. She's not claimed it's stronger, um, but she's claiming that because um, that this recommends a month's dose at a lower a lower amount, then it's the same the same price as this um, because it, they're both at recommended dose last a month. My argument, which I hope you can follow very, very clearly, is very, very simple. First of all, zeolite lasts in the body six hours on average. It's between four and seven hours. On the Cosiva site, they say, let me find, um, let me see if I can find it. Here we go. Um, I don't know if you can read that, but this is the Casiva website, and it states that TRS lasts six hours in the body. Cool. I agree. That's what it lasts, six hours. So, TRS is recommending three sprays in the morning, and PBX is recommending four. So, presumably, she's trying to argue that her three sprays is equivalent to the four sprays of, um, of PBX. It isn't. It's an extra spray. It's at least as strong, so it's more. But yeah, let's leave that to one side. So TRS three sprays, three sprays in the morning, and then six hours later, you will have no zeolite in your body. And they recommend TRS recommend that in the evening, you do another two sprays, and PBX recommends four sprays there. So I assume that Chinting is trying to say that the two sprays in the evening is equivalent to the four sprays of PBX in the evening. And that three sprays is equivalent to four sprays as well. Don't know how she gets to that, but whatever. Um, but what PBX does, it gives an extra four sprays in the middle of the day. So let me explain what that does and the science behind that. So since, <laughs> since the um, zeolite stays six hours in the body, PBX is saying after about six hours, we recommend that you do another four sprays. And then six hours after that, you do another four sprays. So what that means is that you have the zeolite working, removing toxins in your body for 18 hours a day if you're using the recommended dosage of PBX. If you're using the recommended dosage of TRS, you're doing two sprays, one in the morning, six hours of usage, and then you're having a big gap in the rest of the day until the evening, and then you get another six hours. So you only get 12 hours of active zeolite in your body removing toxins. So, if you're paying less for PBX and you're getting 18 hours of usage of active zeolite in your body compared to 12 hours, even if you ignore the higher dosage of the PBX, can those people that do not take TRS see logically that there's, it's just so clear and obvious that you, that you get better you get more for your money with PBX. It's a cheaper product. It's $64 instead of $68, and then you're getting 18 hours a day instead of 12 hours and at a higher dosage. So can everybody who doesn't take TRS agree with me that a $64 bottle of 60 mil is cheaper than a $68 bottle at 28 mil, only covering you for 12 hours a day instead of 18 hours a day? Is that pretty clear and pretty obvious to everyone? Hopefully it is. Right, so, why is it that I can't find a, ting a single TRS distributor who can see this? Not one. And certainly none of the big players, the players like Tinting, like um, Chris Kirchhoff, who I exposed for actually denying that TRS was synthetic. He actually told everybody that, uh, that TRS wasn't synthetic. I made a video about that. Okay, so why is it that these TRS people cannot see this clear, obvious logic? And my conclusion is that TRS apparently makes people blind 
to very clear, obvious facts. They just can't see it. Or they're lying. I'm choosing to say they can't see it. So TRS, certainly making an income from TRS, seems to make people blind. If you are not using TRS and you can see that PBX is cheaper, then please leave a comment below to say that you can see that. Now, if you are not using TRS and you can't see, let us know that as well. I'd love to hear from people that are not using TRS, have no connection with Kaseva as a company, and you can't, to you, they look the same price. If you're one of those people, I'd love to hear from you because maybe maybe there's something else maybe, <laughs> that's making, maybe, maybe I'm crazy. Maybe, I, maybe, maybe chinting is right and I don't understand math. Maybe it's that. I don't think so. But I'd love to hear your comments. All right. Thanks a lot. Now I've got to try and figure how to actually stop this um, recording. Because uh, it's, not, it's not easy. Oh, my goodness. It won't let me. That is just... Yeah. Here we go. Figured it. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs>